mission is to kill Chaos. That's all I know. When are we gonna fight Chaos? All I care about is seeing Chaos dead. Looks like Chaos has been waiting for us. Chaos. We're here to kill Chaos. What about Chaos? That Chaos doesn't exist? The Chaos Shrine. Just one. Is it true you made a deal with Chaos? Chaos exists. I knew it. I told you. And where there's a crystal, there's Chaos. Come on. Are you Chaos? You told us he made a deal with Chaos. And where? Where did this desperate urge to eradicate Chaos come from? Chaos takes hold. Me? Chaos? Chaos. This world needs Chaos! And Chaos is what we shall give it! Happy Sunday, one and all! Let's play that dupe making music, shall we? Oh, there it is. Do you feel it? Do you feel it in your bones? I feel it. It's almost like there's, everybody's expecting something today. I can't imagine what it's going to be. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Another fantabulous stream coming at you today. We are, uh, we are going to be um, playing some oxygen not included. And at the end of the stream, we won't be doing anything. We're just going to be cutting out right from the Ani gameplay and then going offline. We're definitely not rolling a new seed. There's nothing like that's going to happen. It's fake news. Fake news, everybody. Cheers. Happy Sunday. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. We had some pre-stream love and a lot of new followers. Everybody's coming, coming to see the new Chaos Crew seed. And you can always tell because there's a bunch of new followers. We'll go from at least 20 minutes ago. We have Judge Kronos, followed by everyone else. That's actually the username. Everyone else. It's not followed by everybody else. It's, you know, hi, everyone else. Master Floof. And then Beltbed Joe came in with five gifted subs. Just huge. Way to go, Beltbed Joe. Ian Horn Dino. I'm probably mispronouncing it because there's a lot of a lot of vowels where I, I don't I'm going Ian Horn Dino. Then we had Club Tropper. Club Tropper followed and then instantly hit that Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, Club Tropper. Judge Chrono says, Judge Kronos and everyone else. I felt special for you know two seconds. <laughs> oh, Porcelet with their four months and they said good evening everyone the farming tanker with the tier one submarino I appreciate you and welcome farming tanker Chris Clark in with the um, in with the follow a few minutes ago welcome welcome everyone Enorn Dino says it sounds pretty good. First time chatter as well. Baladin says Echo shows up and the ads start rolling. They shouldn't, they should have rolled about five minutes ago. And they won't roll again for another 57 minutes. I have them roll during uh th during the countdown. And that way we don't get them right at the beginning of the just chatting session or gameplay. The Boulder 1357. Welcome. Appreciate that follow. Neferin in with an early pandiculate. Haunted in with a posture check. And Nuki Nuclear in with a drink. Cheers to you. Pumpkin Pie with their resub. Oh, mid pendiculate. Nine months. Nine months. Thanks, Pumpkin. Boop. 
Yeah, so I think we're going to continue our old seed. I think we're going to go back and, and, and start it over again the, before we, we took the break for the, the challenge run. Because I still owe everyone... Uh, I still owe everyone all the foods in the oven. Lamb Gwen says, Does there also exist a pumpkin pay? There are a lot of pays. Irreal... I'm still, I'm still struggling with their name. Irrealto? Irrealto. No, I, I thought we had this... We fixed this... The, the tongue problem last time. Irrealto. Is that what we went with? Irrealto? There it is. There it is. I see. It just it took me a little second. The T hasn't kicked in. Erelito says, "Will Echo play or scout the new seed at some point?" Yes. Yay! Ellie says, "Wait, are we finally going back to the regular scheduled programming? Now that you murdered half the hype colony?" Look, it was a what happened and then you triple stamp the doubles and then nobody got on making mush bars. It was a thing. It was a thing. We messed it up from the very beginning, though, because I didn't roll a classic map. It was an oopsie. We'll start. We'll do that challenge again, though. That's a fun one to do on stream. Binomial Hydra in with the 13 months. Appreciate you, binomial Hydra. Gravity Pegasus says you ran out of food. Yes. Yes. More, more precisely, we stifled all of our crops, so the food stopped growing. Welcome back to Who Knows Yo. For those you didn't know, uh, Kevin's supposed to be sleeping right now. I don't know why they're not. How f did Kevin make it the full 24 hours in the stream? Oh my gosh, he did. It must have been the G fuel. It must have been the G fuel. My goodness. I I don't I wouldn't come close to 24 hours. I would try and I would fall asleep like you guys see me napping on the desk it'd be ridiculous tom at home with the nine months as well says hello party people welcome to the pants party tom i was lurking for several several hours i'm i'm still confused by the rubber ducky game i i don't think that's a game it's just a bunch of rubber duckies floating in a pool I don't understand. Lamb Gwen says, I can't intentionally stay up that long anymore. I'm not 20. Well, I am 20. And I can't stay up that, that long anymore. Carrot says, Echo, I need help. Tips for surviving a 24-hour staff duty? Well, your 24-hour staff duty is supposed to be manned by more than one person, and that way you can have a sleep rotation. <laughs> Eriza Gaming says, yeah, I'm 22. <laughs> oh. Who knows, Joe says, it's, it's, it's an extreme puzzle game with super cryptic things. I'm not kidding. Look it up. Kevin also says, apparently it's more of a game than I ever knew. <laughs> Rubber ducky. You're the one. Hold up, Rem. You're saying, when you're saying you were with Kevin the entire time for that 24 hours, you're not talking about lurking. 
Like you stayed up for 24 hours just to support the stream? Wow. Rem with the super, super fan. Way to go, Rem. Super supporting the streamer. Zoldan, we've talked about this. I don't mind if we mass Chloe twirl, but you have to put one echo twirl in there somewhere to show the world what the superior twirl looks like. And Rem says, and I have WoW Raid tonight too. <laughs> that is nuts. Erolito says, what do your demographics look like? All around 20 here or what? It depends. <laughs> it depends on what day you ask us. We actually have a pretty wide demographic. I'm, I'm happy and proud to say. We Azar, I'll put you back in the corner. Okay? That's a lot of Chloe twirls without one echo twirl following it. Yuki says, I have a child in double digits. So do I. I actually have two. I have two children in double digits, and I'm still twenty. Don't don't ask me about the math. It gets all fuzzy. <laughs> w H Steve says I've been twenty for at least the last five years. All right, we as are. I can play this game. I can play this game. Banned. Kevin says, okay, it's nighttime. I'm sleeping. You're going on my TV. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> oh, I did miss the Elden Ring. Apparently there was some good Elden Ring time. Look, I leave, I leave all the Souls-like type of games to Chloe and Pumpkin. That's, that's their jam. I remember what it's like losing to a boss 400 times. Not because I used to play Souls-like, but because I'm a child of the Nintendo, right? <laughs> Where they they did not, they ramped difficulty. Okay, so I got a great story for you. Everybody always says games were harder like in the 80s and 90s. And the fact is, they were. And it's because the development, they thought about developing differently. When games started coming to the home, they were making them the same way they made arcade games. And the arcade games were designed to make you want to keep putting quarters into the box. Well, when the person, when, when they started developing games for the home, like Nintendo and Sega and stuff like that, they just did the same sort of development. They didn't change the way they thought about it. It took years and years before they figured out, you know what? When somebody's at home, we actually want them to keep playing it. Because if they keep playing it, it's going to build more hype. They're going to tell their friends, etc., etc. So they started making the games easier. So, yeah. I, I, I cut my teeth on difficult games. You know what I mean? Not for me anymore. <laughs> oh. Brian brings up a good point. Plus, no save points. You die, you restart. Like, all the games are hardcore mode. It's so good. Yuki says, jump over the hole, jump over the alligator, and eventually you'll fail and rage quit. <laughs> oh... Zoldan's, Zoldan's really flexing now. It says, on my Commodore 64, you had to type out all the code from a magazine for most games. And if you had a typo, you had to inspect each and every line for a mistake. I appreciate the lurk, Pumpkin. <laughs> Bushman Glenn says, I beat Pitfall once with a hammer. 
I remember one game I was playing, and it's just a, it's probably a smaller title, so I don't know if a lot of people know it, but it was on the NES, and it was called Rygar. Um, R Y G A R, I think, is what it was, and I kept trying. I couldn't figure out how to advance to the next area or whatever it was, and I played it for weeks and weeks trying to figure out how to get to the next area come to find out it was because of my tv my tv was in such a bad shape that the way you were supposed to advance was running like through a cliff wall but you couldn't see the cliff wall on my tv because it was so bad and pixelated and all that kind of stuff when I saw that, I was like, are you kidding me right now? It was weeks of me just running back and forth on the map going, I don't get it. Stridetool says, I remember the code for the last level of Blackthorn and Lost Vikings. It is so engraved in my brain. So everybody in the chat sort of, you know, saying all the beginnings of what console they played and everything. And some of the people are realizing that, yes, our community is has some age to it. And then Carrots says this and makes everybody feel old. I remember playing on my grandpa, my grandparents Atari and NES, the good old days. <laughs> oh. Car Mike 0802 says, my first console was a PS2. That was a good console. Belt Fed Joe says, we had one of those TVs with wood all around it, and it blocked the edges of the screen, so I feel that pain. That must have been something what it was. Gabby says, my dad still plays his PS1. I have the, uh, I, I owned a PS1 and a PS2 and everything like that. Um, and then the PS3 came out and I have, I still have the old, I guess they call it the piano PS3. I don't know why I, I don't, I'm probably even miss saying it, but it has hardware backwards compatibility with PS1 and PS2. So that's the reason why I've kept the PS3. Rem, oh, classics. It says PS1 had some amazing titles on it, like Final Fantasy Tactics and Final Fantasy IX. Those are both, both bangers. I love them both. All right, let's get this show on the road. We're going to start with a roll call. For those of you new to the stream, we like to, uh, we like to say hi to everybody who joins as a way of saying thank you for spending their most valuable resource. And for those of you who do not know yet, it's your time. And the fact that you're spending a little bit of your time with us, it means a lot. So as a way of giving back, we'd like to do a little roll call. So if you wanna be included in the roll call, all you have to do is say something in the chat. That's it. You say something in the chat, your name appears on my list, and then I get to say hi to you. Acanthios with 10 gifted subs. Thank you, Acanthios. Before I start the roll call, I'd like to... I'd like to give some bad news. It is with a heavy heart that I have to report. I have no Perrier's. I have no Perrier's, chat. I know. I know, chat. I've got the tea. But no Perrier's. I, I, I know. I have to drink regular water. <laughs> I know. I feel like, I feel like a lowborn now. <laughs> How could this happen? <laughs> Says Nuki. Oh. 
It's so good. Happy Sunday and a beginning of the week to all the beautiful people out there. Welcome to the pants party to Abbotton, followed up by Acanthios, who just dropped the 10 gifted subs. Thank you again, Acanthios. Alzir is here. Bacon infused. Belt fed Joe. Big old Grizzly is here. Binomial Hydra. Burgetta. Brian Matt, who's 42 years old. Bushman Glenn is here. Cedar Sieve. Carmike 0802. I think 0802. I'm probably going to butcher this because it's been a while. I think an 0802 is a tank officer. That's what we're going with. Carmike is a tank officer. Regardless if they, they are or not or were. I'm, I'm thinking tank officer. Chicago Burbs is here. Critus Pain. Crypto Raider Gaming. Ian Horn Dino is here. Ellie on Ellie, aka Ellie O'Nelly. <laughs> Endgame X. Erlito is here. Eriza Gaming. Gallant Gabby. Grant Theram. Gravity Pegasus. Ha <laughs> ha! Carrots. Hinola SV. Oh, okay. I got this one. I got it. Oh. Izakichi? Izakichi. I'm, I'm butchering it. I know I'm butchering it, but I'm trying. Colonel Sanders says it's field artillery. Okay, now I got to look it up. Look, it's been a while. All right. MOS 0802. Field artillery officer. I was close. Look, they both, you know, they both have big guns. I was close. You know, somewhat close. <laughs> Leave me alone. Jimmy T time is here. Judge Kronos. Colonel Sanders. Kiera Morgan. Cody 06. Lady Anime. Yuki is here. Hi, Yuki. Lamguin. M Bird MDT. MC Super Player. Minu Zeta. Miss Panda Manda. Nuki Nuclear. Nixie's Jinx. Occasional Annabelle. If you're occasional Annabelle, who are you the other times? Podhold Saturn. Pumpkin Pie. Puzzlina. Queen Calero, racist the flamey. Red Armadillo. Remy May is here. Rob Roy, 865. Sapphic Black. Setswakijo. Sean Corey. Slug of Cats. Stream Elements, the bot is here. Stridetol. The Seeker Geek. Thaladine. The Cocky Chick. The Farming Tanker. Tebow 13. Thomas SDK. Or maybe Tomas. We'll go with either one. Tomsky, 200. Who knows, yo? Who should be sleeping? WH Steve. We is our whistling XD Fabian 01. And then Zoldan Orlamu. Welcome, everybody. I'm sure I missed somebody. Let's scroll up through the chat for just a minute. Hexagon Filter 19. Hexagon Fither 19. Says, hello. Welcome, welcome. Furry Wolf. Welcome. We have a couple new followers as well. Hexagon, I appreciate. Thomas SDK. Welcome. Alpine Kitty. I see you, Alpine Kitty. <laughs> Judge Grono says, I keep my nickname Echo Proof. <laughs> Oh, who knows? Who says you're not my dad? I grabbed my phone just to type that. Oh, Mehmet's 13 says, am I late for roll call? Just a smidge, but hello to Mehmet's. Signer. S11NER. I'm, I'm guessing we're going to go with Signer. 
with the 10 gifted sub bomb. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Welcome, welcome everybody. Yeah, so for those of you uh, just joining us, we are going to play some of our our regularly scheduled program seed, is I guess the way we're going to say it. And uh, then we're going to be rolling the Chaos Crude seed in just a couple of hours. I do need to uninstall some of the mods. Remember when you roll the Chaos Crude seed. Try not to use any game breaking mods. What I mean by that is, is, is if it's a mod that has to be installed, otherwise it breaks your colony. Those are the worst. The queen says no WGSM. Uh, activate DLC. We were in vanilla for a few minutes. Or we were in, yeah, I guess you could say it's vanilla. Because of the Chaos Crew seed that we last reviewed. Boom. Goodbye, dupe making music. Let's get to this. Siner says, it's just Sinner, but there were a lot of Sinners, apparently. <laughs> oh, well, welcome, and I appreciate I appreciate the, uh, the gift bomb. The Queen says they're also wearing the Chaos Crew Founders t-shirt today. Well played. Well played. Yeah, so I installed Echo and the Chaos Crew and the Dupery mods for the last one. But I try not to load in too many mods. All right, so we're not doing the dupe hype challenge. Uh, we are going back. What was the name of that? Relaxed. Mm. Relax. Let's do it. Okay. I. Why does everybody called Kevin Kebby? Is it just a cute pet name? I'm. I'm confused on this. What is your highest morale dupe in this one? Probably 40. We'll have to check. Binomial Hydra says you should totally do a cult of the lamb stream. We did. Rem says it's what his girlfriend calls him. That is such a cute name. Hi, Kebby. Go to sleep, Kebby. Or I'm going to smack those cheeks. All right. Uh, this is not the primary part of our colony. This was actually a satellite world. This is how much we actually been playing this. And I believe we've got this all automated and everything's functioning well. Auto sending all the goodies. Yes. We had to set this entire place up just for the gold. Because our primary colony had no source of gold, so we had no source of making oxalite. It was a fun project, too, though. Look at this debris chiller. Mm. This is a smexy, smexy debris chiller. I wonder why... So, we're actually going to review this whole playthrough, because... We also just need to remind ourselves what we're doing and why. The question is, this is locked. I guess there's 10 tons of steel or gold there, so it's going to take a little while for it to ship at all. And we're getting all of our radiation from a radiation lamp. Who knows, Yo says, keep whispering me. <laughs> Go away, Kevin. Go away. Night nights. 142 rad bolts per cycle is not bad. Uh, especially considering our launch cost is only 30 rad bolts. So we're shipping off, what, 800 kilos? 
30 times 4. Yeah, so 800 kilos per cycle. It's a little bit more than that. That's not, not shabby at all. Everything else seems clean here. What are they eating? 53,000 calories worth of berry sludge. They got some fried mushrooms, some barbecue. So they may not have infinitely sustainable food here. Growth is halted here. Hmm. Beard twirl dance off. You may have missed roll call, but hello. Hello, Dolph. Welcome back. I'm trying to remember. I know we shipped them some berry sludge. And we are running plug slugs galore. Which we need to because that's how we're providing our power for this colony. Hence the reason we have all these bat trace. Bat trace? We should have put some solar panels up here too because I don't believe this... No, this colony does get meteors. It gets oxalite, I believe. Where? So we're eating barbecue. When they naturally die, we can cull them as well. Let's... Can we pick up the mess here? Get rid of all this. It looks like they're... Not very busy. Oh yeah, there's that nice late game save. Only 1,300 cycles in. We got 28 dupes. Alright, so I think we're good here. We're gonna have to keep an eye on the food. But worst comes to worst, we just do a quick culling of the plug slugs. And then we can ship food over. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, we do have our backup system. A worth of hydrogen. Oh, did we send everybody home yet? Uh, obviously not, because there's still a rocket here. Hmm. Because we did find out... We did find out... We did found out. Nice. That this spawn is a spawn, depending on how much it runs. Right now, there's eight duplicates on this colony. And it's, it's too much for eight duplicates. It can produce eight... Duplicates worth of oxygen, but it's not self-powered at that point. That's the reason why it's still hooked up to the grid. So why don't we send the folks home? So I don't think we're going to do anything else here. Did we find out what these are? <gasps> they don't have sixes on them. I kind of want to know what else is on here. This is Smirazon. Polluted water vents, hydrogen vent, cobalt volcanoes, more volcanoes. Carbon dioxide geysers. They're probably carbon dioxide geysers. Doff87 says, if you ain't running any mods, it changes world gen, right? Why not challenge too legit why you select his seed and he selects yours? What is too legit, dude? What do you mean what, with seed? Uh, I kind of want to go in here. Let's go dig this, shall we? Let's dig it real good. Dun, 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 dun. Like this. There we go. Actually, we don't even need to do that. I can just open it. Find out what those are. We will ship those dupes back home. I, what kind of challenge, though? Oh, you're talking about max dupes? Frontima says, why is... Th this is no dupe every three cycles anymore. How did that end? We had... Uh, we overheated the crops. Ran out of food. Uh, Cultivina, this is our primary. Which, I mean, to tell you the truth, smears on looks better than our... Our primary, doesn't it? We're gonna have to clean all this up. Oh... I remember why this is... Because we have these obnoxious pot obsidians. I promise we will not be doing... I will not do this to you, Chaos Crew. This is horrible. We were slowly digging through here, though. Our massive water plant. 
I like it. It's just, you know. Here's our sauna. We have a geothermal sauna down. No, it's not geothermal. So we're just getting all the heat from the petroleum generator. Are we siphoning the water back out yet? Probably using... Apparently not. We're up to 20 kilos. Yes, we are. We're probably doing it up here. Yep, it's coming out through here. So basically, when the Atmos sensors detect that there's too much atmosphere, the steam turbines start pumping the water and it heads this way through the debris chiller instead. That's what all this polluted water is doing here. It's cooling down. Of course, it's at seven degrees. Why isn't it emptying? Oh no, that's the cooling loop. <laughs> Oh, tell me this is the first day you've played. I know, me too. It's not a bad idea, Doff, except I haven't been playing the Chaos Crusade. I thought about playing it this time. Mini Soul Reaper, welcome back. Six months. I thought about playing it this time because we are in the mood for a new, uh, a new colony on the YouTubes. Except I was going to try not to do a standard Let's Play but rather just highlight when we are doing something of importance. Especially considering I can't do an entire series in three months. Yeah, we got to do some work here. This is disgusting looking. Frontima with the new dupe raffle. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to refund you because we're not getting any new dupes. We only do the raffles when we get a new dupe. <laughs> Oh, I like it, though. Oh, we still have the pause mod on. We got to get rid of that. Go away, shine bug. Uh, nothing. Let me main menu this real quick. Tuxie, With the follow, I appreciate you. I recognize you from the YouTubes. Um... Yeah, main menu. We're just going to disable that mod so it, we don't deal with the pausing every three cycles. Yuki says, to be fair, the Chaos Crew um, seed would be super fun to see what you do, but if you were discovering the vents, etc. before everyone else, that might change the direction. But it would be neat to see how Echo would handle the challenge. Except, except I would be playing it slower than you. For, for most players, right? So let's say the first video came out next week sometime. By then, people are already going to be 100 cycles in. Most, right? Uh, where are we? Pausey. Pause on. Ready to print. Thank you. Use. First time chatter says, am I late? Has the seed been chosen? No, not yet. We still have some time. Marcus, welcome back. Six months with the Prime. I appreciate you. Nuki Nuclear with all the redeems. Cheers to you. Here's the drink. Quick posture check. And appendiculate. Oh, it's a deep burn. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I thought about playing the Chaos Crew, but instead of it coming out in videos like a Let's Play, it would come out more of a... Today I'm building a metal refinery setup, and here's three metal refinery setups we can use sort of thing. Newly disabled. Thank you very much. Boop. Here we go. I, I have to figure out something to do here. I do not like this colony. Um, we have been in a love-hate relationship with it for quite some time. At least it is sustainable. Oh. I wonder how this is going to change. It might not because they're not... They shouldn't actually be cramped. Depending. Because remember all the critter changes? I 
I need to figure this out. Let me see what I can do. Uh, what's the overlay that we use to do this? Room overlay, yeah, but there's 411 sitting in there. 411! We need to do a culling. I'm surprised the computer... I'm still running 50 frames, too. But look at that. I mean... Ah! Oh! 10,278 rads per cycle. That's a lot of rads. Um, we are going to keep an eye on these numbers, though. Because it may actually be killing them off. Why? Where do you keep going? Oh, we got some payloads that you're picking up. Why is my... You're telling me I don't have a can opener yet? We should at least get a can opener so they don't keep going through here. Just take a look Not the can this. opener, but the, uh, the beacon. Decor to see them and see if they're glum. Decor, decor, decor. It's so weird. Uh, let me get off of the eggs. I gotta find a, a shine bug. I think if they were glum, they'd stop producing light. Well, if they're cramped, they would. Oh my goodness, there's so many eggs. Give me... I don't want to click on an egg. <laughs> Look at the positive value of decor. There is... 6,900 decor just coming from shine bugs. Conveyor rail, vacuum. It won't let me click the critter. It only lets me click the eggs. Give. Stop it. Stop it. This. Don't. Okay. What if we did this? Okay, there's a nymph. They are glum. So their their metabolism it just reduces their metabolism by 80. So they will still produce. The question is will they produce before they starve? That's the question. I'm pretty sure they will, but I'm not 100% sure. We'll keep an eye on this number today. 410 critters. If we see it going down, well, we know why. Um, because I believe we took out... No, we're still running it here. So we're still dropping off new shine buggies. I thought we changed... Oh, we just stopped the shine bugs from coming over here. Because we finished research. Except for the new creature comforts. Quick, get the research going again. This is why I always keep it around. There are no chickens. There's none chickens. Rem says, Echo, you need the new cat trees ASAP. I, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. That's the only new one, right? Yep. Okay. What else are we going to do here? I do not know. We do have a power spine going in. That looks kind of nice. Oh, it's such an ugly colony. We'll come back here, work. We have 5 million calories. We've been producing berry sludge for a very long time. But where? Here we go. Here's the... The wonderful sleet wheat. That's not even in a farm. Are we running? Do we have a fertilizer? We do. <gasps> Why is my fertilizer synthesizer broken? I've never seen this system of mine fail. Don't you also have dehydrator tech to research? Boop, boop, boop. It must have given it. Mm. 
D I Trader. Yeah, it comes in the gourmet meal preparatory prep. It's a ball it's a blob of brine. Oh, so maybe that's what happened. Brine somehow got into this line. Why is there... Okay, this is being filtered. Okay, good. I was like, why is there petroleum in our water line? It's being pumped from the other colony. Because we started getting the polluted water back from it. We gotta go check on those folks as well. Um, that's what happened. So my system is still perfect. It's just, you know, got a little messy in there. Uh... Why is it not running? Uh, because this smart storage bin's full. It's okay, but we definitely should have put the, um, a farming station in here. So if I did something like this... That would work. And then just open it up. Like... Let me make sure there's no pipes and stuff. In yeah, I, I knew it! We were about to break the entire thing. Uh, let's go just buildings. Whee! I'm thinking this should be small enough. There we go. And then we'll put the farming station there. It's just more efficient. If you're going to have fertilizer, you should be running it. Now, where are our blossoms? It's been a while since we've ran this, so I apologize for the slower, slower than normal gameplay. We're kind of new to this colony. Uh, where can we put this now? Because mm. we'll need doors here. Oh, there's the one tile storage tile. Boop, boop. Uh, yeah, we're not using aluminum. We can use the copper. There we go. And Zan says, why streamer so slow? <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess we could just take out two blossoms and put the farm station there. Like right here. Okay. We can at least go to double speed. We're also running souffle pancakes. I love souffle pancakes. Stations. Stations, everybody. Farming station. Whoops. Farming station. Not aluminum. Stop building things out of aluminum. Or aluminium. For all of our over the pond friends. FRD dot with the nine months. I appreciate you. We will get rid of this tile and this tile because I don't like to, you know, I like our farm stations to be on normal tiles. It's not such a big deal. Except we're not using obsidian. So now that this is open to the mass, why did I come over? Hmm... This is fine. It's okay. It's going to look fine. Right now, everything's stifled, and we need to let this carbon dioxide out. What's wrong with you? Why are we not destroying the carbon dioxide? All right, who's responsible for this map? Put your hands in the air. Put them up. Like you just do not care. We will tie it in somewhere like this, I suppose. Yeah. Except not out of aluminum. Kevin, go to bed. Astro found. Said first time chatter says carbon dioxide. <laughs> oh. Don't get stuck. I better not do that right there. Yeah. 
And we can put our farming station. Station. So why do I... I have the fertilizer, but I wasn't using it? That doesn't make sense. I'm normally big on the fertilizer usage. All right, we'll come back and check on that in a minute. Let's go check on our friends in Cardano. They have 44,000 calories. They are... This is this whole planet exists just because of the petroleum boiler. We are starting to recapture all that polluted water, hence the reason why it's coming over. Beautiful. It's coming from both the natural gas and the petroleum generators. I don't know why there's polluted water sitting down here, though. Time to pick that noise up. There's only two duplicates over here. It's thin manning. Very thin. I don't like any of these bases. It was all... I don't know. We can put water on this, at least. There's a lot of water sitting around here. They are eating bristle blossoms, or gristle berries. From that last natural gas generator, says Carmite. It drips here. It was probably remnants. But it needs to be cleaned anyways, um, because it's preventing the carbon dioxide from being destroyed. Now, the question is, do we just put in some more door crushers down here? I mean, you know I love my door crushers. All right, so this is taking polluted water and going out. So this would be perfect to do just like that. So the polluted water will rejoin. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, this is clean water. Hmm. I do have some clean water here. But I need one dumpster line too. That's probably the reason why we didn't do this is because the dumpster lines are so far away. I mean the polluted water lines, like the dirty lines. Because I normally like to put the carbon skimmers and I connected them I, I connect them to our bathroom systems. They're just so convenient that way. But this, we had so much water coming from everywhere. Here's our closest dirty line. Coming down here and then going through. Sin and there's just so many pipes. Because I couldn't just do a normal water filtration system, right, Echo? You had to build this huge monstrosity. The Seeker Geek says, Echo, how confusing it is to go back and forth between saves. Like if you had two Let's Plays going at the same time. It it is a pain. Um And I'm we used to have the stream colony plus the YouTube colony plus the occasional one-off. And it, like, you see me here. It's been a it's been, probably been, I guess, maybe, what, a month since I've played this colony. And the whole thing's foreign to me. It makes me want to start over. Because all the systems, I don't like any of these system designs. Which, on stream, we normally try to do things a little differently. Um, we try to not do the normal. Because you... You see the normal all the time. You do it all the time. Maximum tiles, 96. Uh, okay, okay, it's fine. Um, um, did the queen just give me permission to start over? The Seeker Geek so says, so you'd rather start a new colony than go back to an old one? Um... A lot of times, yeah. It's because I have I have WoW alt disease, right? Everybody's familiar with WoW alt disease, right? Beltfed Joe says, "Do it, start over, same goal." Okay, let's let's do a poll. I mean, we, it has been a while since we've done this one or done this colony, and I kind of want to flex. 
Like, we played silly with the, the max dupe challenge, but now I just kind of want to build some hardcore, beautiful, well-operating systems. So, new colony, same goal. Yes, no. I'll just put new colony, and it'll be assumed that it's same goals. Because I, I want to do a colony that makes every food. Uh, two minutes. Start the poll. The poll is up. Rem says I'm working on third and fourth WoW alt. And the season's only on week three. <laughs> First time chatter. Lone wind. Welcome. All right. So they should be able to build that. Th That's not an unreachable dig from right here. What are you talking about? Okay. Now they're going to do it. This could have just connected into there. And then we can come up and do some of this nonsense. No. I don't even know. I don't even know what to do with all that extra water. I could just dump it back in the sauna. You dump it back in the sauna to purify it. That's kind of fun. But I have a feeling it's not going to matter here in a minute. What do we got? What does the poll say so far? Uh, oh my goodness. 58 people so far said yes. New colony. Everybody likes new colonies. <laughs> Bushman Glenn says, if you start over, it'll be the third time with the same goal. Someday we're going to get all the foods. We will. See, the problem is this colony stinks. It doesn't stink. And I, I absolutely love Smirazon. This is a clean system. Clean-ish. I just don't like this planetoid. I don't know what we were doing. I mean, it's got, it's got some kit DeLuca. But... Uh, 68, 94% said yes. First time chatter, Fractal new Nebula says, new content idea, every stream is a new colony. It's pure profit because everyone likes new colonies. <laughs> oh, have I ever tried Raft in VR? I have not. All right, well, it's settled. We will save this. New colony. Sorry, Vodlanders. Now, the question is, where do I put this? I guess I'm going to have to put it in its own new playlist. But having it start with the new colony seed. I don't, I don't, I don't know. And Zan says, so just to be clear, frosted stinks. Relaxed stinks. Maybe just your late game stinks. Be nice, and Zan. The queen says, you've been complaining about this colony since prior to taking a break. Put it in both playlists? Uh, that's probably a better idea, Secret Geek. I am going to uh, post this. I'm actually not going to post this seed yet in Discord because everybody will think it's the Chaos Crew seed. And I don't want to confuse folks. WH Steve says, Vodlander rep here. You have permission to start new. <laughs> what, um... Oh, you know it's going to be good because it started us off with a Steve. We chose classic, didn't we? Because we wanted enough room. I'm thinking it should be a classic. Just to make sure we have enough room and enough resources for all the foods. And it gave us a Steve on the opening screen. So, you know, uh, you know, we're in for a good time. What should we do here? Hmm, not Oceana, Squelchy. Kitsune Wong says, where can I find the new Chaos Crew seed? <laughs> not yet, Kitsune Wong. Binomial Hydra says, Coral Island VODs requested. 
I, when am I gonna get to play Coral Island? Everybody yells at me when we don't play Ani. Queen says, fry a Coral Island, please. Kitsune says, what are you saying? I need to dig into your brain to get it. Grabs tools. <laughs> Maybe some Friday Coral Island. I mean, that sounds like a decent idea. Uh... All right, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Well, let me get... Hold on. Let me pick somebody. Somebody with the golden dice. Who's got the golden dice? You know what? Let's go back. Let's go to... Let's go to our friend Zolden. Zolden or Lamu, please give us a roll ten. The Haunted said, can somebody tell me why we're starting a new colony? I missed it. Because we didn't like the other one. Zoldan rolled a one. Thank you, good buddy. <laughs> Panda Mana says, no, bad echo. No counting out loud while I'm counting stitches. <laughs> I didn't throw a hissy fit, all right? I did not throw a hissy. Oh, the good thing about re-rolling a new is that We'll get the, uh, the Biobot Builder. That's kind of a good way. Zoldan says it wasn't a hissy. It was just a fit. <laughs> um, the only bad thing is you don't get traits. I would love some Terra traits, but it's not going to give it to us. Uh, the nearby asteroid is going to be the radioactive swamp asteroid. So I guess we'll get some traits there. Metal rich. Mm. Geodes and metal rich. Oh, hands down. Done. This is the seed. <laughs> that is great. Colonel Sanders says Volcania is kind of like Terra Plus Plus. Why do you say that? Zoldan says you shouldn't be taking what you want. This should be random too. But uh, Zoldan, <laughs> I don't always get what I want. See what I did there? Joe says, take what you want so you play it longer. <laughs> All right, we're going. Sean Corey says, but sometimes you get what you need. <laughs> oh. New colony hype. Yay! Oh, you know what that means. It's dupe raffle time. Everybody get your dupe raffle. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do not do it yet. Do not do it yet. I need to change the price. We need to go back up to the standard 2500 for the dupe raffle. I'll, I'll even... You know what? I'll go 2000 We got to keep the echo economy strong. And we so I tried to do it anyways. All right, now get your dupe raffle in. And remember, you can buy as many raffle tickets as you want. All right, here we go. This is just for these for, um, opening three dupes. All right. This is now going to be called... Um, uh, the buffet. Because we are doing it this time. No, no excuses, nothing. 
This is it. This is every food in the game, buffet table. It's what's happening. By the way, no buzzy buzzy. It ended up being my XLR cable. So right now I have a shorter XLR cable. I'm surprised you can't see it, which I'm glad you can't see it rather. Akahoshi? Akahoshi says, what time the chaos seed gonna be rolled? Um, about two hours, a little less than two hours. Gatlin420 says, I'll ask again, sorry, how many dupes can your setup handle? I'm studying for a most dupes run and the PC I'm building is very similar to yours. I can tell you what, on my last max dupe run, I had about 130 before it died and this computer is 10 times more powerful. So I, I don't know if I could get Who knows? Can we name the colony no excuses? <laughs> All right, so let's go. This is a big one. So we probably do want to start with the standard digger, digger, builder or digger, digger, researcher. Chosen fail with the Ahuga. And researcher. Oh, wow. Rock fan, but flatulent. No, goodbye. Irritable bowel, early bird. Digging, tidying. We'll take it. There's an early Travaldo. Fractal Nebula with the follow. Also Eagle, 21,221. Also with the follow. I appreciate you both. And let's go Critter Aversion, Grease Monkey. Yeah, this auto looks good. Uh, Researcher. Uh... Suit wearing, researching, building impaired. Building impaired would hurt in the beginning, though. Gatling 420 with a follow as well. I appreciate you. Trumor Phantom says, will Puff Ranches be planned for in the future? Yeah, when Clay fixes Puffs. Erlito says, my name is Otto. Please keep him. Yeah, we're keeping this auto. That's a good auto. Um, gourmet, biohazardous, pilot. No, not piloting. All right, this one's great. Big plus eight science, grease monkey. Yeah, this Amari is where it's at. All right, so we have 22 in the pool right now for the dupe raffle. Yeah, account number, you can go away. Thank you, Queen. That's not the type of attitude that we keep in this in this community. Now we have twenty four in the in the raffle. Let me get the uh, an exclamation roll 24 for this Travaldo. We got a 13. Hold on. Hold on. We got a couple more people put it in the raffle. So next time we roll, we'll do uh, we'll do the bigger number. One, two. What was the number? Now I've, I've got 13. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Whistling, congratulations. Whistling, way to go. Now let me get an exclamation roll twenty five, please. This one is going to be for the auto. A seventeen. 25, 24, 23, 22. Oh, no, nope, gotta restart. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. 19, 18, 17. It's Colonel Sanders' pick. <laughs> 
who's feeling a little salty. Feeling a little salty. Colonel Sanders wants the name to be voted. Volcano. Uh, Sanders. There it is. Panda Manda says, I'll have to wait to crochet. <laughs> and the last one, let me get another exclamation roll 25, please. We got a 10 from Yuki. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Bergetta! Congrats to Bergetta. Boom. I appreciate everybody for jumping in for that raffle. We also have an early pendiculate. Let's get this started. Then we got an early uh, pendiculate. Or not an early pendiculate, but a pendiculate, a drink, and a posture check. Ooh! New colony hype! I love new colonies. Mmm... Yep, we have all the things. Pandiculate, posture check. Thank you, Setswakijo, for the posture check. And then a pandiculate and a chosen and, and a drink from Chosen Fail. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the new colony smell says fucking. That's exactly what it is. Alright, let's look around. Make sure there's no impending danger. It shouldn't be. It's a terror. Ooh, what is this? Nice and close. We're definitely going to want to drop our water. Because it's sort of in the way. We don't have a lot of room here. Mm, it is in granite, so we're not going to be able to dig that out for just a minute. So we will start by digging through here. This is really not a great water location because it does really slow us down on this first cycle. So we're going to have to go over, which is fine. And as soon as we do, it will put some ladders here and then just keep going. Just like this. I suppose temporarily... We can come up here. This water seems to be not in the way. Why are we already pausing? So we can put a pitcher pump there. Star map for geysers real quick. Yeah, that's a good call. Halicino. Halicino. We are getting meteors here. Copper, ice, and slime. This is interesting. Possible uh, mushroom play? Oh, listen. You can still hear they're, they're stuck in the digging animation. <gasps> they're still playing. Is that new? They were still rocking and rolling. Remember the star map used to pause it. I didn't read this. All right, so 11 unknown geysers. Oh, I like that they're doing this now. Salt water, we've got confirmed salt water, cool steam vent, chlorine, of course, natural gas and oil. I don't think it's unpaused. It was. So let's keep an eye on uh, Sanders here. Star map. Can you guys hear that? They're digging. I don't know what's new. Now when we come on it, look. I don't know what's going on with that. All right, so what, let's sit. Remember, the pitcher pump's not done. Yeah, and you can also see the resources changing. That's new. I like it. It, But it definitely amps up the difficulty a little bit. 
Space View does not pause anymore. You've heard it here first, folks. Uh, let's get some... But wait a minute. I'm trying to see if the cycle thing is moving. Good way to do it is just put your mouse. It is moving. Yep. Wow. I better start building. Let's go. Uh, this should be good here. We're just going to do some temporaries. This is not permanent. Okay. In fact, build these first. And... There we go. So we have that there. Let's go all the way over here for our dig down. Yeah, that's new. You could manually pause. Yeah, definitely. Mr. Nice Gamer 88. Welcome. Welcome back. Seven months saying, just letting you know I love the content, so I keep resubbing. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Yeah, let's, uh, Queen, can we do a blueprint? Fronima, yes, it will be in Discord. We will post it to Discord. Whoop. Whoop. Uh, disable disinfect here. We don't need to go that far down. Although, this is not going to be great because... All this carbon dioxide, we don't have a sink yet. So maybe we will just come down here and dig a little bit. Just to let that carbon dioxide. Oh, look at all these goodies. Look at all them goodies! And Zahn says eight hour stream because of New Colony. Heard it here first. All right, the prediction is up. So for those of you new to the channel, um, we are doing a prediction based on what's in this blueprint. Is it, is it clothes? Is it drywall or is it something else? White Wind X9. Appreciate that follow, welcome. Uh, so yeah, they're gonna have to do some sleeping. This is temporary. I mean, everything's temporary, chat. Everything's temporary. You know this early game. Yeah, let's get some cots in. So I will do this for now. We'll put some research and stuff over here later. Pop, 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 pop. And put a priority on this. No, 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 no. We're, we're not eating during our first day. Okay. Good stuff. They were putting the muckweed away, which is what we want. Because we don't want the, the hatches to eat it. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice floors. I like what you're doing with the place. Plenty of algae so far. So we will we can take our time for getting electrolyzer set up. I'm really curious what this is. Should we do the trick chat? Just for you? All right, so when we do this, um, for those, I know we have a lot of newer players here or new viewers. When we do this, I don't look at it. So don't, um, please don't spoil it. So what I do is we do something like this and then I cover my eyes and we go, let me make sure I'm close enough. Three, two, one. And then I, that way everybody gets to see it. And then I turn the priority on it to a six to know that the community has seen it. That's, I'm really curious. It's very rare you get a geyser that close. And the reason why we did is because this is the edge of the biome. Thank you for the zoom fix. If it's a chlorine vent, oh, if it's a chlorine vent, chat. All right, so we're good here. We got some beds. Yeah, we can go double speed now or triple speed. This is going to be, um, 
Millwood schedule. Do we have to put schedule? Or can we just put the name of the food? Is it like saying ATM machine when we say that's the schedule name? I don't know. All right, everybody's going potty. We've got some cots. Unfortunately, they're not going to be able to breathe at night. Um, sorry. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Now we can start planning, though. We can open that up that way. This can be another sump. Carbon dioxide sink, rather. Let's get some research going. We'll put the wheel on the bus. Ah! See what I did? Right here? I don't know. What do we want this place to look like? There's some oxalate next to it. Oh, yeah, there is. Very nice. Um, I'm trying to think of a primary design. Maybe one ladder shaft base? Of course, we could just go open air. We might just do open air because it's Terra. Uh, I really like to get the dupes and suits. So maybe we do mini base. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's a mini base. Everything else is outside. We haven't done that before. Oh, no. Okay, somebody said five tiles high. I was like, oh, no. All right, we've got some more metals, so we can pop down the batteries here. We have three tons. Almost four tons, based on that. And we will put... Where are you? Research station, right there. Come on, give, give it to me. Whoop. Uh, should I flip it now? No, because we don't have the ration box yet, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Because what I was thinking, well, right now there's a shine bug hanging out, which is fine, but this light only goes like two tiles to the right or three tiles to the right, but goes two tiles to the left. But remember, to get the well-lit buff, which is what we're the reason why we're putting it in front of the research station. Oh, we have idlers? Oh, no, 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 no. We do not have idlers. Temps, 26. This is fine. And we can also start going up. Whee! Just like this. There's a stop right there, right here. To get the well-lit buff, it's just where the dupe's sitting, or standing in this case. We're going to start off with... Yeah, let's go mess... No, let's start off with jumbo batteries. Lumen says, man, got to love that new seed smell. I know, me too. Carmike says it's blueprint time. Yes, it is. We have about 75,000 Echoes up for grabs right now. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Boop. Oh, True Blue Sports Gloves. No. Congratulations to the clothes people. And I believe this is a two pick today. Queen? I want the tutus too. In fact, we should start designing the dupes as well. And that way they print. Somebody said they print with whatever clothes you put them on. Alright, this is good here. Uh, jumbo batteries. And then into advanced computing. And then into foods. Zolden says, Yay, Glubbies! I almost doubled my echoes. 
Zoldan's always hurting on the echoes. Uh, these can be disabled on disinfect. I am not a player that gets rid of this here, and I recommend you don't either. The disinfect at 10,000. I disable disinfect on buildings themselves because if somebody's disinfecting like this battery, it means you have a problem somewhere in the colony. And so it's a, it's a good way to figure it out. Like what's going on. We might as well get algae going. It's not gonna matter big time. Notice I left that spot open just for the jumbo. And we will do some of that action here because I'm going to turn this into, yeah, this is good. This is nice. Boop. And straight up, I wanted to get all the algae. I've banked up 12,000 echoes and always put 2,000 on predictions. Well, Trumer, um, next time we do a raffle, which is going to be in just a minute because we want that fourth dupe, um, buy a bunch of raffle tickets. Lumen says it exactly right. It says, I can't go without disinfecting. Sorry, Francis John. Because I know a lot of us started learning how to play because of Francis. And uh, Francis disables disinfect altogether. But when you do this, you don't know when, like if you're disinfecting this pitcher pump, that means yucks got out somewhere. And I don't like the yucks out. Organic, now we gotta be careful because they will start putting polluted dirt in here. Because when we check algae, it's literally checking all of organics, which stinks. Here we go. Oh, it's a Steve. Oh, you know I love a Steve. This is a digging, supplying, decorating Steve. Hmm. It is kind of a waste on the decorating, though. But they are handy on construction. It could be another builder digger. Oh, yeah, it's Steve. It's got to be the Steve. I don't love the decorating, but it's fine. Absolutely. I'm also going to try to personalize more dupes. Yeah, let's get that new dupe raffle going. We'll give it a couple of minutes. Welcome to the colony, Steve. Let's uh, let's build a couple of schedules. Whoop. Add a new schedule. Yeah, so as soon as we discover polluted dirt, which is going to come from the outhouses, uh, we got to go make sure that we undo this. Oh, wow, they're already done there. Let's go up then. One, two, three, four. It's going to be... What? One, two, three, four. Right there. Uh, that means we can get over here and find out what this is because Steve starts with digging. Yay, Steve! How do we get over there, though? This water tank is only up there, so we could do something like this. It's going to cause all that debris. Hmm, hold on. Let me think about this for a minute. Yeah. We'll have to. We don't have air uh, mesh tiles. We could put mesh tiles on so all the debris doesn't fall. But it's a thing! And now we're going to go get to discover what this is. Hydrogen? Come on! I might corner build that and destroy it. Yeah, it's okay. Get rid of that. Steve is home, but Steve's on the wrong schedule right now because I'm getting sidetracked. It's the new, it's the new, like, uh, sidetrack thing because you're starting a new colony. It's so exciting. You got all the things to play with. Just like that. Little bath time. Rubber duckies. Oh, uh, nope. This is downtime. Get it together, Echo. Yeah? Great. Steve, you're on you're on shift two. This is now known as uh This it can't be mealwood. That's not a food. It'd be meal lice, wouldn't it? Is meal lice one 
word or two. Why am I forgetting this? Oh, this is weird. Mealwood makes meal lice. It's two words. It should be foods that we make, though. So this should be pickled meal. Why aren't you letting me reschedule or rename it? Oh, something's broken. That one works. Why won't this one work? Hmm. Trapped. Oh, Steve! Steve! What have you done? Oh, already. Oh, not the Steve. Okay, one, two. This should be easy enough. Come on, Steve. Steve? There you go, buddy. Whoo! There's a Steve in trouble. Oh. All right, let's get a uh, let's get a roll for the Steve. An exclamation roll twelve. Oh man, that's Steve. Let's go digging in here. All the goodies. Absolutely. Uh, that looks like it's going to be too full, so we will not dig that out. All the digs right into there. Look at all them chickens! We is our rolled a six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. It is Razor Smash Smashikins. Oh, I love that name. Come here, Steve. Smashikins? Smashikins. I love it. Smashikins likes its new name, too. Get in there. Yep, yep, yep. All the sand. I get it. All right, so that has been dug now. So we can go over here. And we can do this. And I can corner build right there. Beautiful. They can jump down there. There's some wonderful muckroot. We might as well get some... Oh, I'm, like, lacking on research. I'm all sorts of like, wee, let's just play the game. Boop, boop. Why did we get an alarm? Oh, Sapphic Black said sand. <laughs> you gonna drop that water tank you just dug under? What do you mean? No, we knew we were gonna drop. Oh, oh. Oh. Sapphic. Nice job. Nice job. That would have been bad. I, I'm sure I would have caught it. I'm sure. I would have caught it. It would have been fine. That sand. <laughs> we do want to drop it, though. I just don't want to drop it like it's hot. And we also want a nice sump. Nice, you know. Whoop. Just, oh, yes. Uh, what's the temps down here? So far, so good. This is going to be where we drop the water. Look at all this water. I mean, we have water for days. Uh, this one can go away. It's going to be leaking too much. Research complete already? Oh, uh, I thought we were going down here. Yeah, we can do advanced computing next after we get the mess tables. And we can build some nice mess table things right here. Plenty of algae. Nice, easy, relaxing start. Cedar Sieve says, you would have caught it once the water started flowing. Yeah, exactly. I told you we would have caught it. <laughs> uh, I hate how they do that. It makes it always makes me want to change their priorities to make farming less than digging because the reason why they come and dig these things up is because it's a farming task and on the skill tree the farming comes first. So at a minimum though, we we're going to take and fix that right now, building and digging right here. Uh, Smashykins is also a builder digger. 
So is whistling. There we go. Now they won't do that. I normally don't like to put priorities on too early because you have so few dupes, you need everybody to do everything. Uh, this looks like a nice spot, huh? Research complete there. Right down into advanced research. I didn't say I was going to do... I'm not going to do all four high tiles. I'm just saying I'm going to make the base small. I know I always... Uh, no, Bushman Glenn's right. I always say, like, next time I'm not going to do four tile highs. But they're just so perfect. Right? It makes it, everything so nice and clean. That needs to come. Um, I also want to make a place to put the foods. And I think this place is going to be good for that. We can make it right here. By doing this right here. All the carbon dioxide will just come sit down in here. And that's where we'll put our ration box. Yeah. It's, it's perfect. It's perfect. And... Sleeping Smashykins is eating. Way to go, Smashykins. We can start building this up here. We'll get some food going this cycle as well. Oh, no, 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 no. It's getting close. I need to remember. I, I wish you could uncheck all from here. In fact, I'm just not going to load up the algae right now. That way I know they're not going to bring the polluted water out. Because it's going way over here. Oh, the polluted dirt. Eventually, we'll push... In fact, we can push all the way over, can't we? This is safe temps. 30 degrees. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Uh, let's go uh, here to maintain a bath bedroom. 64. There you go. Boop, boop, boop. Mess tables. Absolutely. Let me get this down first, though. Where's my refinement? There we go. Bink. I think the automated checking was fixed last patch. It's not. Uh, oh, you're saying it will uncheck organic or it won't auto check polluted dirt. All right, we'll give it a try. Thank you, Enzon. Oh! Oh, sad potatoes. What happened? There must have been some yuckies there. Oh, oh, look, and it's... Oh. Come on! And it's leaking down here. It's going to go all... Oh. Hold on, pod. I'm having an existential crisis. All right, let's... No reason to sit there and complain about it, right? Might as well start doing something with it. Oh, uh, everybody's going to get soggy feet. No one likes wet socks. <laughs> we Azar said, that's it, restart. <laughs> We're just going to expand the tank. In fact, let's just make this the tank, right? I got to... Ah, it's going to slip all down in there, too. I don't want to go this low. Mm. Okay. What we're going to do is I'm going to build an alternate. Hold on. Hold on. If I go right here and then wait... This is where we can dig. And then, once we're down here, 
can go over like that. The slime will end up in the water, so that's fine. And we can go up maybe another one here. This is the row. All that water is going to come down. Well, just this water is going to come down. And then we can eventually dump it. Something like this. I don't love it. Look, I, I don't. But this is what we got to deal with now. Burgetta says, make a huge water tank with lots of buffer tanks in it. No, not again. Not again. Oh, <laughs> Greek bull says, I see you caught the water. <laughs> oh, and game says, I, yes, I vote. I vote restart. Oh, a cook germ resistant cooking. Oh, nails. Yep. Welcome nails. So get your dupe raffles in. And there it goes. So this is going to be a horrible, horrible dig. Um, the dupes are going to hate life. Stress is going to rise. But hey, we need to do what's good for the colony. These toilets still have three remaining. Oh, I got to remember to higher prioritize these toilets. Make sure this is still a latrine. Yep. Good, good, good. No! Oh! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Lumen is wondering how to do rolls. It's exclamation, roll, and then whatever number. You had it correct. To do the dupe raffle, you got to you have to go into your echoes. Um, it's the little coin with the little baggie. You'll see it down there, and it's a new dupe raffle. Beautiful. All right, we're getting it cleaned up. We got some hypothermia coming. Yep, we knew that because they're digging literally underwater. It, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine, sweetheart. It's going to be fine. Uh, schedules, by the way. Let's go ahead and put this nails down here. Uh, we need to move this whistling eventually to where they only have daytime. Because they are a uh, early bird. So we're missing out on some plus two attributes on this point right there. Uh, we decided... Oh, is it going to let me... Okay, hold on. We got to save this. It'll be quick because the colony's new. Go right back in there. Uh, buffet? Yep. Because we wanted to be cooked food schedules. And the first one's obviously pickled meal. Because that's how all of us start. There we go. Pickled meal. There it is. And then this is going to be gristleberry. Beautiful. Okay. You're doing great, dupes. Keep up the good work. Keep it up. I think the electric grill goes here. Maybe here. Ooh, maybe here. I like this. Because we have the food storage being right here. It'll be good. It'll be good. Look, dupes, the sooner you dig this out, the sooner you can stop digging underwater. All right? You got to get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. One visit remaining. Both of them are on priority six. That way we don't have any messes. No messes. Oh, I do need to fix this, though. We will start using this water here by putting a pitcher pump. Boop. 
There we go. I'm gonna pause research for just a minute, right? We have advanced computing. Yeah, we got some other stuff to do. So we're gonna pause the research. All right, we got third. We have 11 in the new dupe raffle. Oh, I, I missed the pit. Nope, I made it in time. Tom, at home. Oh, that's a deep burn. Thank you for the pendiculate. Geeky Gamer back with the posture check. Boop. And also with the drink. Cheers to you. All right. Um, this is this is okay. Uh, poor Hatchy Poop. Move the hatch. I think this is a ranching command. I don't think they're going to be able to move it in time. Somebody grab the hatch. I, I put move two. Move two. Right here. There it is. I'm, I'm trying to save the hatch. Yeah, there's no critter ranching, so they're not going to be able to. Oh, free barbecue. Let's make sure we don't eat that raw. All right, we're almost there. Oh, this is a mistake. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's a bad one. Oh, that's a bad one. Oh, whistling. Okay. Oh, dear goodness. All right, you need... You can jump there. And then you'll be able to get up. This is it, right here. Queen says, this colony is off to a fantastic start. Fantastic. Absolutely. Who has this errand? Whistling does. Are you a good builder? Oh, yeah. Knocking it out, Whistling. There you go, buddy. Just saying. All we do is save dupe lives around here. Oh. I mean, things happen sometimes in some of my colonies. I don't know what you're talking about. There we go. Uh, this is the story of a girl. Boom. That's perfect. Perfect-ish. Okay. And now we can build our tank. Please, algae, do not bust. In fact, let me build this one first. Kathora says, doesn't sound like you, Echo. Must be an alternate timeline. Almia, first time chatter, and says, this is why I always build a ladder to the bottom of the water tanks. <laughs> Look, we were, we were going to. I didn't want them to go down there and do that yet. I wanted them to dig this so all this water would drop. But they didn't listen. They never listened to me. <laughs> Anglomo says, can you actually say that you saved them when you put them in danger? I didn't put them in danger. What? See? Okay, burgetta has got it. Way to go, burgetta Way to go. Oh, yes. Because we have people that need to go potty. Now, here it is. Eggshell. Nope. It is still automate automatically checking but now i know they're not going to get the polluted dirt because we have found eggshells uh you might want to hurry people have to go potty nice nice all right okay this is coming together it's coming together it's fine we're gonna open this up just a little bit Uh, to let this water drain. Actually, I probably don't even need to, right? If I mop this. Yes. Mop, mop, mop. Only 10% stress. I mean, easy day. 
Easy day. All right, let me get a uh, exclamation roll 12, please. Oh, what did you do? Smashykins? Yuki rolled a one. It is Dawnstar. Way to go, Dawnstar. Nails is now named Dawn. Perfect. All right, all the water's being good, good, good. All that water is drained. Here we go. We can put a normal tile. Actually, let me go get the mesh meshy tiles. Meshy tiles, meshy tiles. Right there. Perfect. Oh, did I mess this up? Uh, yes, I did. It's supposed to be one lower. It's supposed to be one lower. I mean... I mean, wh what are you doing here, Echo? Oh, this is... Can I corner build this? Here. So this is fine up to this point. And then we'll have to do some corner building. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Whoop. There we go. We're just, we, we're making the tank. Okay. Got five dupli- Oh, what happened here? Really? You got clean potties. Oh. Well, at least we discovered polluted water. Yay! Where am I going to put it, though? It's going to off-gas and make a bunch of nasties. Oh, bad duplicates. Ba, ba, ba. Pepe went before the cleaning was complete on both. <laughs> What's... Okay. I mean, it's fine with the draining there. Eventually, we're going to drop it. Like it's hot. Oh. This is good. This is good. And that will go there. Eventually. Perfect. It's all coming together. All coming together. You can stop. It's dripping to a good place. Alright, now let's get some mealwoods going. Uh, where do I put them? Oh, uh, no. Let me get everything else going first. This is picked up just fine. So I can actually do... Remember, this has to be a little deeper. No, I don't want to do that. I'm thinking. Let me think on that one for a second. I need to make the carbon sink for our food storage. Uh, joya seeds. <clears throat> I'm always down for some joya seeds. We have another digger. I don't think we need another digger. I think the next thing we look for is a rancher or a mechatronics engineer. This operator is not bad, but I think we can do better. So yeah, we're going to take the joyous. All right, so my plan was to open it up like this, and it still wouldn't be great. Uh, this, is, this is okay. This is going to be fine. It's going to be fine, sweetheart. Because we're going to come in here. Boots. One ration box here. Let's get rid of that. We can be done with that tank from here. So we can literally go like this. Oh, nope, that's wrong. And I'll show you why in a second. In fact, I'll do it by comparing these two. There we go. Now you can dig here. Perfect. Perfection. Ish. Uh, do let me... Why is it still spilling? A thousand, a thousand, a thousand, a thousand. I guess it's still pulling water off of here. Research complete. 
We still got some mess tiles to go. That's fine. All right. The ration box takes up a two by two tile or two by two space. So when you do this, the reason why we put these in a little hole is because we want them to sit in a sterile atmosphere because it reduces the rate of decay. Except when we eventually drop all this, these tiles will be oxygen. And because they're oxygen, this will technically be in contact with oxygen up here, making it not a sterile atmosphere. That's why you go one deeper. And now you know the rest of the story. Everything edible in there. Perfect. Uh, but you got to make sure they don't get themselves stuck as well. Uh, no, do not do that. Move up here. There you go. That's a good boy. That can go away. This can go away as well. Then this is how we'll get there. I mean, it's coming together. I like it. I like it. Okay, um... Hmm... Oh, that's right. We we're gonna do... We can deconstruct this. But we need to make sure they move all that food ASAP. Move it all quick! Before the hatchy boy wakes up! Let me get an electric grill right here. Something like that. Boop. Mop up some more. Here's our mess tile that we've been waiting for. Copy this. Oh, beautiful. And now we got barbecue coming in. As soon as we give our cook the skills. It is Don. Don is the permanent cook. Burgett is also ready for some skills update here. Some advanced research. Whistling is another digger. Perfect. And voted Volcano Sanders is also a digger. Beautiful. Uh, we can actually finally get over and see this. We can also drop all that water. Absolutely. And then I can come over here and do like that. Where's our farming dupe? We don't have a farming dupe yet. Oh, no, 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 no. Come no, do the mopping. Plumbing. Boop. There we go. Oh. What is... Oh, it's, don't worry. I'll get around it. Come on. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, we... Oh, it's in the... Saltwater geyser. Mm. Unfortunately, it's 95 degrees. Come on. 95 degrees? That's going to be a minute. Oh, what is going... Just keep mopping. Mop forever. Now I got to get rid of one of these. We got to go down into the hole. No, nope. stop mopping here. Mop the source of the problem. Just keep mopping. Don't ever stop, Don. Here we go. Hoy. I know. Uh, what? I'm going to get this. There's only six kilos here. Go mop, all, mop it over here. Just keep mopping. Smashykins. It should be a mandatory requirement that everybody's dupe name is cute. And here it is again. I don't understand. Let me fix this right here. Huh? We will drop it like it's hot. 
User error confirmed. <laughs> stop! Stop! Why? Where did everybody go? Oh, at least you got some nice barbecue. I mean, that's a pretty good score. Speaking of which, can we get some stuff planted yet? Uh, it's five, isn't it? 200 per. There we go. Yep. Uh-huh. There we go. Boop. That'll be food. Finally! All right, now they should be able to get this underway. Actually, before I do that, let me hard build this. So we don't have to worry about it in the future. Can we get the camera in the center? Oh, yes. Bad echo. Bad echo. Idols? No, 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 no. We, we don't idle around here. Get to work. Nice. Nice. Ooh, cool steam vent. It's going to take a very long time for it to fill this place up. That'll be interesting. And it's going to heat this entire area up. So we will not... We're not going to build through this granite for a very long time. Um, I suppose I could do this and put another pitcher pump right here. Copy these settings. Absolutely. The reason why we put the camera in the center typically is because when I hit the build commands, this, in, in at least Nox not included, it doesn't bother it doesn't get in the way of anything. Here we go. Very nice. How we doing? We doing good? Uh, maybe... Instead of pickled meal, we go gristleberry? I mean, we have the water. And it'd be one more, I think it's one more morale. Because the pickled meal is a, a grizzly. And I'm fine with doing the duplicate labor thing. Yeah, let's do this. Whoop. Get rid of some of those so I can rebuild them. Make sure we have some lights. Lights, 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 lights. Down in decor, maybe? Yes. Let's also get some furniture going. So they can stop eating on the floor. Boop. This looks like a great spot, doesn't it? What? Absolutely. And just like this. Uh, we should probably move this battery somewhere. If I'm going to put the crops here. Hmm. No, I'll probably put crops up here. But I, I don't want the base to be much larger than this. It's going to have to be a little bit larger because I'm going to need more room for barracks. I don't know. I just don't want... I don't want the huge giga base. I don't want the base like this. I say that and fast forward a few cycles. That's what it's going to look like, isn't it? I know. I know. All right. Here we go. It is, what, three? Ah. Now I got to relook. Let me find a bristle blossom. Ooh, pod. I too like pods. Mouth breathing Ellie. Bottomless Stomach Quinn, Biohazards Gastrophobic, Digging Operator Gossman. We'll take the Nymph. I am looking... This is only 25 degrees. 
Let me give me a temperature check. Where's it the nice nicest? Up here? Let's put the battery up here. <laughs> Whee! Boop. It's it's great, isn't it? And then we can disconnect this. Connect it like that. Oh, it's beautiful. This can go down to a four. This can stay at a five, so they load it up quick. All right, let's also look at some of our stuff. We need the copper. Echo, you can have five floors in your base brick. Make it work. No, because I've already adjusted off of here. I can't do it. I can't do it. Dawnstar says, I still need to try Stardew. I only have 40 minutes or so in the game, and most of it was being overwhelmed and indecisive on what farm to choose. No, you got to do Coral Valley. It's the new Stardew. <laughs> Everybody gets so mad when I say things like that. <laughs> oh. Queen says, you can play both. Coral Island, thank you. You, you can't play both. You can't play two life sims. It's way too much. You know what I mean? It's like way too much. Oh, this is wrong. Ah, oh, it's so wrong. Hold on. Diggy, diggy, diggy. And then diggy, diggy, diggy. So maybe we just put it up here. It's gonna be fine. It's going to be fine, sweetheart. Like this. Sheesh, Louise. It's okay that we're not making any power right now. It's fine. Power is for chumps. I wonder how far you could get into a base without any power. Probably, you can't get very far because you need power just to run a research station. I don't know. It's just interesting. Uh, Gristleberry. Oh, we need a name for this one. This will be... This will be the mighty... Hmm. I do like the souffle pancakes. Let's go with Grub Fruit Preserve. I like it. Grub Fruit Preserve. Beautiful. Oh, we can finally drop this. Water goes in here. I can get rid of this ugliness. Beautiful. Uh, I can get rid of this. Because we're going to put a... No, we're not going to... Uh, well, we won't put a... We're not going to put a pitcher pump in here yet. Because we're going to drain it from here and here first. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ah, oh, look at this. Beautiful system here, too. Loading up some algae. Very nice. 20,000 calories. Oh, that's right. We're supposed to be working on food. Food is good. Planter boxes. Oh. Are we talking bristly green planter boxes? Or sleet blue? How about we do one of each? Uh, I need to find a wild bristle blossom. Wild Bristle Blossom. Uh, let me just look it up here. Gristled Berry. Rem says, I think you misunderstood, Echo. You can have five floors. Each floor, four tiles high. Make it work. Five floors. Okay. Gristle Berry... 2,000 calories worth of gristleberry. Ooh, there's a little bit of water right there. Which means... 
I need to. Are there no bristleberries here? Okay. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I have to do everything by the database. We'll do it that way. Here we go. Uh, how many cycles? Six cycles. Let's do some stream math. It is now time for stream math. Tails von Mille. Will a follow or maybe millet? Four minutes ago. I appreciate you. And then Peeb E with the follow as well. Boop. All right. We've got... It's 2,000 calories because that's what happens when you turn it into a gristle berry. And it's divided by six. So it's 333 calories per cycle. And every dupe requires 1,000 calories. So it's three bristle berries. Because when you times that by three, boop, um, per dupe per cycle. So when we're up here, they're going to be dumping water down here forever. Oh, can I do this yet? Uh, yep, I gotta deconstruct that and deconstruct this. There we go. Plant your boxes. We will start regular, right? Uh, maybe here. One, two, three. Then we'll go to some blue ones. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, they're so nice. That's three duplicates. One, two, three. Four duplicates. We're going for aesthetics here. More so than nice light things. This will still cover. Oh, I like I kind of like this. It's not maximum efficient. But it works. And we are using lamps just because they take less power. If you're doing the colors, you need to space them out. I did. I spaced them out because this is I I can quickly look and see that we have food for one, two, three, four, five duplicates. I think Wingot is right. It's time to do that second uh, second blueprint. Now we don't have enough quite yet. We're gonna have to wait for the seeds. I'm sure we'll find some more. I'm sure we'll find some more. It's going to be fine. We'll just do some diggies. I am a dwarf! All right, so we've got, what, nine, ten in here? Eleven is coming. There we go. It's so perfect. Kathora, 13 months for Kathora. Welcome back. All right, the prediction is up. Remember, we're looking to see whether or not this is clothes, drywall, wallpaper, or something else. Doesn't this look nice? Mmm. Okay. So far, I think we are rocking out doing well. Remember, we are going to get slime meteors, but you don't know how many, how much slime is going to be coming through those meteors, but it is making me think mushrooms as our mid-game food. Uh, let me go in here. Make sure... Hmm... We also have other muckroot around, too. So we're going to have plenty of food before these come up. Dex3D, leader of the Council of Meeps with the Twitch Prime. 15 months. On a 14-month streak as well. All right, let's go find some more. We need to find some more of these. Uh, so... I want nice wide, a nice wide hallway. So maybe five tiles wide on the hallway. So these can be normal tiles. Let's grab some of that copper. Oh, I'll, I'll bet you there's a bunch of goodies in here, huh? 
Let me see them goodies. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, this could be it. Uh, what? One, two, three, four. Like, this is the base? I mean, it's not bad. A nice little micro base. I think we're, I think we can take another dupe as well. Six dupes is not bad on cycle 16. Operating pacifist. I wish you had a little bit more, May. I wish you just had a little bit more. Marie's a decent, or Marie's a farmer. I would have taken Marie had I not already grabbed that nails because the farming and cooking would be great. When they're not cooking, they be, could, could be farming. Kitsune Wan says, I've seen you do indents for the standing lamps. Have you considered doing indents in the ceiling for a bigger spread of hanging lamp? Um, I had not. I, we, we played around with that a little bit in the last. Um, but the, the thing you've got to remember about the lamps is they take two less watts. Operating, hmm? I'm very close to this May. Because you want to get started on that mechatronics engineer. We also need a rancher and a farmer. Uh, KB2209 says you can't bet their echoes. Um, you might live in one of those countries. Rob Roy says can't nay a May. <laughs> hmm. What do we think, chat? Just spam chat. Do we take this May or not? I'm in between. I got several yeses. I've even got some nays. All right, it's, got, it's going to the vote. It is going to the vote. We have, it's just pretty mixed right now. Oh, uh, why did you do that to me? Why? Why? New poll. There we go. May or nay? <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, the poll's up. We'll leave May in there. Have we found any more buried gristle ber uh, bristle berries yet? Why is this disabled? Uh, can we re-enable that, please? Thank you. Uh, we should probably get hatches going. Well, we need the rancher before we can get hatches going. Ugh. I could at least move. I think the ranchers are going to be outside. Right? They have to be outside. So let's me move this egg up here. Give me more seeds! Oh, there's some goodies right here, too. What's going to be the next series after Civ 6? Perhaps a new mini base challenge? Uh, Raphael, I think I am going to do the Chaos Crew play along um, seed, but I'm going to be doing it in a way that is not necessarily a let's play. I'm still trying to figure that out. I think we got to go back to auction not included, though, because everybody, uh, nobody watched. Nobody watched. No, let's not take that up. There's a little bit of water there. It was bothering me. You bother me, kid. See? Yeah. Uh, this fertilizer is going to break soon, which will dump all the water down here, which is okay, because then we can just slide it down. Uh, Sanders, you're idle? I don't think so. I don't like... I'm not sure about this idleness thing. I'm not sure I love it. We got a nice big carbon sink now. Uh, there's slime tiles there, but not a big deal. Weazar says, Echo, you have to do both. Ani to keep people around and Civ to build up the audience. The problem is, is it hurts um, video performance so bad. Because the Ani people won't watch the Civ. And so it makes it... Like YouTube look like, oh, this is a bad video because nobody's watching it. So it's just, 
It's tough to break into. I do need to do... I need to do that. I just... Running two series is tough. I might do that. JD plays coming through the booth with a party of 90. Break out the fine china, folks. JD plays and crew is here. Welcome in, everybody. Foxhound, how you doing? Yeah, we started a new colony today. It's looking nice. We're about to do the Chaos Crew play along seed uh, reveal. That's going to be fun. Belt fed Joe with a gifted sub. This one went to JD Plays. Thank you, Joe. Maybe we do that tutorial series on Civ as well because people have been asking for it. Just need a couple more seeds. I know they're in there. Oh my goodness, I just realized. We did not. We did not finish our Great Hall. What a bad echo. Uh, nice little flower plot in here. There we go. What were you playing today, JD? Bomber Bum, welcome in. Also, uh, Taka Bear? Love the good day, mates. Oh, Critus. Oh, you redeemed. Oh, yeah, you did. And you get them all for free because there's four minutes ago. Posture check, a drink. Cheers to you, Critus. And the pendiculate. Oh, a deep burn. JD plays, I highly recommend running two series at the same time to break out of the Ani mold. It's how I broke out of Factorio. Good stuff. I appreciate you giving me uh, your recommendations. Uh, so what did the poll say? Are we taking that May? Oh, 59% said uh, we can't nay May. All right, let's go get the May. Which you know it means dupe raffle time. Get your dupe raffle tickets in there. Come on, May. You can be happy now. And we will, this, this May will be our eventual mechatronics engineer. So let's put him in their hat. Ooh, Don's already up at grilling too. We got some skills here. Mmm. Field research out of Brigetta. Then some super duper hard digging. Nope, super hard digging, not super duper hard. Boop. Boop. Perfect. I sometimes read chat, JD. I read chat all the time. I just, I miss a lot. <laughs> We only need one more. Oh, no. We got to plant some more. Uh, let's see. What do we... What color? This is the next color, right? There we go. Nice little eclectic selection. And as soon as those berries are up, we'll have to get them cooking. Let me go to consumable so they won't actually eat the bristle berry. JD says, I know, but it increases the chances. <laughs> if, if, because if I take my dupes, my eyes off the dupes, they will die. Look, my eyes could be on the dupes, and the chances are bad things are going to happen. All right. Uh, perfect. One more corner build, because I don't trust the slime, and that will be good. Nice little tank. And we got to duplicate this over here. Perfect. Looks like we got 14 on the dupe raffle. Let me get a exclamation roll 14. Critus says he once killed a dupe because he was texting. That was actually one of the few shorts I put in there, too. That's a true story. But it was the dupe's fault. Let's be honest. It was definitely the dupe's fault. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I've been messing up again. Nobody sleeps tonight. Nobody sleeps. I forgot that we have our wonderful cot designs. 
little lab caught action, some stargazers. Then we can go with the normal cot. Yeah. Nope. So much better. So much better. Touch my fish. I appreciate the follow. JD, I appreciate that raid again. I hope you get your, your after stream care in. Uh, Lumen rolled a 14. So we go down and go up. crazy tastic. Our, I I love when people put their name put this in the names. Check this out. Group loyalty is up an important thing, and crazy tastic is a proud member of the RSSA, the Royal Society for the Strip Mining of Asteroids. <laughs> Where did those designs come from? Right in the blueprints. Speaking of which, everybody get their stuff in? Oh, we got some big money in there now. What, 40, 60, 70, about 75,000 again. No, it's more than that. 44 plus 40, so about 83. Here we go. It's a flashy planter box. I don't know what color it is, but it says um, not exactly a subtle color. So somebody non-colorblind, tell me what color that is. It was something else. It is a red one. Weazar says hot pink. That's pretty cool. It's not orange, Grant Theorem. I know that color when I see it. So let's erase these and put down some of our new ones. Beautiful. Wait a minute. Oh, today's Sunday. This one's being saved for Wednesday. I was like, what do you mean? And it was something new, so I'm happy with that. Nope. Whoop. There we go. Uh, we still need to find a few more seeds. Grant Theram says it's cardinal. <laughs> oh. And uh, will they be able to get there? Yeah, ish. I don't want to mess with that water. And perfect. Our tank is done. Let's uh, maybe bigger carbon dioxide sink over here. Where else can we dig? I'm not trying to dig too far out of our home biome. That's how bad things happen. Scary things. Nice little cluster of uranium ore here. We haven't discovered any other vents or geysers. We've got this one, saltwater geyser. Ooh, here's one. Let's do the trick for you, chat. Remember, no spoilers if you're new. If you're new. There you go. Three, two, one. Don't know what it is. So far, we do have that this is 95 degrees means we have to wait till we get the thermal aqua tuners to be able to chill it. The gilded squid said it's an orange vent. No, Rem, I do know it was um, a 13 that was rolled. I went down to 14 and then moved up one. So when you guys do the roster, it appears on a list. Or when you do the raffle, it appears on a list. So I can either count from the top or I can count from the bottom. Nice job with the uh, the zoom, Colonel Sanders. Uh, oh, we did find another one. This is good. Bet you there's some in here. Look at all. The, oh, look at all these goodies. Look at all these goodies. Absolutely. Um, more water. Oh, look at the polluted water. Some fish. Some sweetles. I guess it is exploration time. Uh, well, it's probably research time. Let's get into deodorizers. Because if I can get into deodorizers, I can then bust through here and then drop this whole biome. And it looks like a fairly big biome. 
Actually, there's an abyss light break right here. Hmm. But it's okay. It's okay. I also need to get rid of that um, polluted water. Maybe I build another tank. And then the carbon dioxide will sit on it. And by sitting on it, it'll prevent it from off-gassing. Is it smart to have your polluted water and your non-polluted water right next to each other? No. But are we going to do it anyways? Yes. <laughs> Doff87 says, can't you make a script? Put entry numbers or line numbers on all entries? Um, no. Well, I... Maybe, but in the way it appears in my stream manager, there's no numbers by it. And I don't know how to pull those into another program. That would be cool, though. Uh, I think... Do we expose ourselves to this polluted oxygen? It won't rise because the uh, carbon dioxide... So yeah, so I can do that. This is going to be our polluted water tank. Yes. We don't need a lot of polluted water. Maybe something like this. Yes, this is going to be perfect. And it's just to temporarily store, again, temporary, um, to store our polluted water. Because I don't want it sitting here. Um, I could just move the buckets. Why don't I just move the buckets? Until we have some capability to get rid of it. Yeah, let's do that. Move the buckets, please. This is much smarter. Bomber Bum says, um, right, there was laundry to be folded. <laughs> Well, I'm glad I was able to distract you. I appreciate you coming by with uh, the JD Plays. For those of you joining us for the first time, don't forget to hit that follow button if you're, you're liking what you're seeing. All right, uh, carbon skimmer is coming. I suppose we could put in bathrooms. Let's do that. Can we please move these things, though? And dinner is made chicken, green beans, and rice. What kind of chicken did you make, carrots? That means I'm starting to get hungry. Whenever I start talking about food, it means I'm starting to get hungry. It's never good. It's never good. I need more buried objects because we're going to need more seeds. Uh, let me move this. Nope. Hold on. Let me move the egg. This is our future ranch. This is why we're moving eggs over here in a ridiculous fashion. There we go. Now we can do that. All nice and clean. Beautiful. So let's put down our first lavatory. And I suppose I can put a sink down. Plumbing, plumbing, plumbing. Medicine. Thank you. Boop. Everyone talk food? That's just mean. That's just mean. Uh, pipes. In. In. Wee. Yes. Boom. And then we go up, up. If we could get the shine bugs in here, that'd be a decent source of decor for the dupes. Uh, let's go across like this. We will dig through here into some mafic. Uh, do we even do we even have 
all the stuff we need for our bathroom setup. Uh, there's still... Oh, we... Mother of all things. Supercomputer, please. Here we go. Bubbles! Oh! Max would be a decent farmer, but they have the noodle arms. Not crazy about your noodle arms, Max. Minus three to strength to start, which means they can't, they carry 120 kilos less. Ugh. The stinky researching building with a small bladder. I don't need another researcher or builder. We're going to take the copper. I think you can move flying critters now too. Yeah, you can um, with a rancher. I have no such rancher. Uh, let me prioritize this so they can get that research going. Oh, only need one more seed. Where are you? You're in here somewhere. Oh, there's some more goodies here. Let's get these goodies. Perfect. Targetti, I appreciate the follow. Nitro Anime Gamer with the follow as well. Missed that one a few, few minutes ago. Rob Gentry also with the follow. Is it three bristle blossoms per dupe for food stability? Yes, uh, when you turn them into gristleberries. I can't activate the gristleberry button yet because uh, we haven't actually discovered a bristleberry. This is our first crop. Oh, we also want to check this out. Uh, oh, that's why we're researching the deodorizers. Then we need to go in into uh, water purifiers. Not water purifier. What's it called when you do the thing? Then maybe what we might do is put a little oxygen thing not oxygen uh polluted water thing up here where we can dump any polluted water and not even worry about it in fact let's do that now i have airflow tile so i'm gonna put an airflow tile here get it get it get it get it get it oh sanders you are not a very good builder are you there we go Research is complete on the deodorizers. Now I need my water sieves. Easy day. Did we unlock? Yep. You know I'm going showers, folks. Mm. More room is needed because we're going to do this cheeky thing here. Whoop. And it's going to go right into the filtrate. This is our dirty room. Water sieve with buffer tank somewhere in here. Yeah, it's going to be okay. Have we found any thimble reeds yet? I do not see any. Thimble reed! Come to daddy! Yes, Thimble Reed. There's one right here, too. I don't want to unlock all that, though. It's going to get too hot. I probably should go down there and insulate it, but we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Uh, Do I do it now? Do I do it? I don't know. I really want that Thimble Reed for our bathroom setup. Yes, let's do it. There we go. The carbon dioxide should fall, so nothing will off gas. Should. Should. All right, so here we go. Plumber boy. Sludge press. Great. Gas filters came in. Liquid filters. Money. This is all going to come over here. 
and go into this water sieve probably right here except we'll flip it something like that we'll see there's a polluted water off gassing left of the water tank yeah we moved the buckets down there we moved them down here because we figured the carbon dioxide would stifle uh not let it off gas but you know because the polluted water won't rise as high. You know, it, 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 uh, I am going to put one here. Which means... And I see you. I see you folks using unpowered deodorizers. There was somebody in the uh, the play along that was using unpowered player, uh, deodorizers. Mm -hmm. You didn't think I'd notice, but I did. I noticed. I miss the old ones, too, because I... You normally are running these so far. It really is a long run. I suppose I should do that. It allows the carbon dioxide to sink better. Get my seed. Beautiful. Research complete. What is it this time? Water sieve. Yes. That can go in here. <gasps> we don't have buffer tanks. Oh, this will not do. Give me my buffer tanks, please. MC Super Player is one of them. Unpowered deodorizers. Best mod. 10 out of 10. Would unpower my deodorizers again. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's another one right here. It's about there. They're about to go anyway. Anyways, liquid, polluted water. Plumbing. We're going to have one in here. And its only job is to pick up the things. Ah, uh, boop. Any temperature... Malfeasance yet? Don't know if I used that correctly. Ooh! We got another one down here! We found another geyser! Let's do the thing, chat! We ready? Boop! Three, two, one! The queen says no. I'm guessing I did not. Oh, is he playing the Chaos Creed's Chaos Creed? La, 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 Chaos Seed now. Nope. We are getting ready to roll it, though. Thimble Reed Seed. Yes, please. We'll move it all the way up here. I also need the Hydroponics Tile. We'll get it next. Uh, what? Uh-oh. Oh, no. How did that happen? Why? Uh, let's deconstruct this. How did that happen? Oh! I'm, I'm gonna mop it up. I'm gonna do the underwater mop, because that's a true thing. Ooh, dust caps. <sighs> we do have a little bit of slime available. We'll wait. We'll wait on those. Uh, where were we? I think I sidetracked myself. Oh, getting buffer tanks. How did that happen? I wonder if dupes, can they go down through a pitcher pump? We're about to find out. Yeah, they can. Good stuff. Wingit says, underwater mop is so cheesy. I agree. Um, I wonder... Yeah. It'd be like trying to pick up oil out of the water. Someone's father, 23, says, you're able to mop underwater? Yes. <laughs> it's definitely a... Uh, as long as it's not a lot of water. 
like you can't mop this because it's 10, you know, you know, it's a thousand kilos. But every once in a while, it's the perfect amount. Now, the heat is going to rise out of here. I need to seal this off. Did I move that thimble reed seed? Yes, we did. Uh, let me get... Actually, no. It's far enough away. We don't have to worry about this. Right? Yeah. It, it's going to be fine. It's fine. Fine, chat. All right. Uh, why is research taking so long? Okay, we finished buffer tanks because I'm not selecting research. Now I need hydroponics, tiles. Where are you? Right here. All right, so buffer tank. Buffer tank! Buffer tank! Oh, yes. Boop, boop. So far, so good. And this can be fed directly. Uh, do I feed it? I think I feed it back into the main system. And then let the water sieve decide what is enough. Yeah, it works. Kritus says they make pads to pick up oil off of water. They got skimmers for that. Hmm. Learn something new every day. Ranching. Ah, uh, narcoleptic. And trypophobic. You don't even have any positive traits. Nope, we're waiting for a rancher farmer. We will take this nice snazzy suit. This is the one problem. They have to change this. We're going to give it to Brigetta. Right now, if we change their clothes, uh, it, oh, it, it goes right over the snazzy suit. I don't know what to do with that. Running out of power. Somebody goes up there. Have I changed priorities on Don? Don needs to do some cooking. Crazy Tastic needs to be building. Oh no, you're not a builder. You're an operator. Oh, stop touching the button. There we go. So you're doing building and operating. What perplexes me is they still have a negative decor if they're in their supply closet outfit. Yeah, I, um, I don't, I, I don't like the that sort of interaction. The queen corrects me that the snazzy seat goes over the dressed clothes. I don't know how to fix it, other than maybe making the clothing refashionator. Like you have to make a suit for them to wear their supply closet thing. I think that would be a good half and half. I think it, it kind of it kind of work both. I'm not saying every article. Maybe it's like just custom suit or something. Or you could just be painful and make them make everything out of the supply closet. Because after all, you have to make the flashy planter box that you got from the supply closet. And like Colonel Sanders says, it would make the refashionator a lot more useful. I like that. All in favor? I. All right. I'll let Clay know today. I'll let him know. <laughs> what do you mean, power? Uh oh. <laughs> that would help. Waiting for filtration medium. We have plenty of sand. Let us... I forgot to do this. I got sidetracked somehow. Let's track our sand. We'll track our coppers. Uh, what else are we tracking? Ooh! The berries are up. Make all the gristle berries. Did they store... Yep, there's all the bristle berries. Very nice. There's something hidden in that tile. We'll grab it. And now I want to go discover what this is. Now that we've got the deodorizer in, let's go on a voyage. Yes. Uh, we need that. Uh, it doesn't matter. We'll still be able to get in there. Speaking of which, any skill upgrades? Smashykins with the super duper digging. Way to go, Smashikins. So we can get through that obsidian now. Uh, dirt. Yeah, that's a good one. Dirt. 202 tons. Algae. 
Oh, we even got gold? Mm. 42 tons of algae. And there's a lot of stockpiles. Organic. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Oh, just chef's kiss. So we can take our time getting to electrolyzers. Perfect. Uh, research complete. Do I... Hmm. I don't mind running on the wheel right now. Let's get our infinite storage going with our rock crusher. And then maybe we'll get fire poles. Hold on, what was that? Or was that one of my modded things? Rocket port extension is the first time I've seen it. Automatically links when built to the side of the rocket platform or any rocket port. Very cool. No need for alarm, you say? Says Colonel Sanders. Nefer and Twitch got the trifecta, so they get one of them for free. We got a drink, a posture check, and a pandiculate. There it is. Mm. Mm. Cheers to you, Nefarin. For those of you still hanging on, it looks like we are getting ready to save this out and take a look at the Chaos Crew Seed. I want to see what this is because I'm one of those weird guys that dreams about Ani, so I need to figure out what is going on. Uh, we're going to do that. More carbon dioxide. Here's where that gold vein was. Yeah, there was a big abyssal light break right here. This all was supposed to be abyssal lighted. Abyssal -lighted? You know what I'm saying. This is five degrees. Which may... Okay, so if it's cold, what is it? It's another water. Oh, we got a volcano confirmed on this planetoid, too. Oh, that's exciting. That means we can play volcano games. Don't think you quite finished your hydropot. Oh, good call. Oh, touche. Nicely done. Greek bull. Uh, we have enough for 10 duplicates worth of oxygen. Oh, this all needs power too. I'm get I get so sidetracked. Can we can we keep up? Echo! Please and thank you. Now I can put my hydroponic farms in. They come down in there. I even have enough room for another compost. The only thing bad about the compost is the heat. But once we get our cooling system in. We'll be able to cool the whole thing, so it doesn't matter. We will do whole base cooling. I'm thinking now, this is the base. See, I just keep getting wider and wider. <laughs> oh. Brilliant. Let me get these going. Tie it into here. I don't mind this big long run because we're going to need it anyways eventually. Uh, right like that. Plumbing. Boop, 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 ba -da -doop. Give me that liquid pipe. Give me them liquid pipes. Good, good. Perfect. Ish. Nope. Let's get a... Uh... See, I'm taking my time with the build, you'll notice. Because I don't want to get grumpy with the colony in a few hundred cycles, and you know I will. Nefarian Twitch says, Juice the Kid on Discord says, We're not allowed to get the Chaos Crew seed for now. We just got to be patient, guys. <laughs> oh. The Queen says, No, I need to play. We're almost there. You can do it. You can do it, chat. Oh, we actually have an extra Blossom seed. There's our thimble reed going in. This is good. Oh, the water sieve. Oh. Where? Oh, because of the water there. We didn't even need to link it. 
Oh, that is brilliant. Love that journey for me. Absolutely. Because we started with... That is such a better way to do it. You don't have to run it. You just use the polluted water to charge your lines. Oh. Learning new things. New strats. I mean, don't even need this right now. You can wait. Uh, we'll keep it going for now anyways, but... Our buffer tank already has 250 kilos. Not to mention, our thimble reed is going to be fed for a little while, too. Beautiful. Uh... Direction right. Why is there polluted water sitting there? Huh? Why isn't it being dumped off in here? Are we that far behind on tasks? Oh, it's already getting up. Uh, it's so far away, though. And this is going to get stifled sooner rather than later. Zimmy99 says, Won't be long before Echo has to check his own tutorials. <laughs> Oh, touche. All right, Thimble Reed is in. Polluted water gets dropped off. Did I get my little thingy boys here? Yep, there it is. And we've dug down in here. A carbon dioxide geyser. I just realized that's what this is going to be. It's going to be a carbon dioxide geyser. What am I going to do with two frozen carbon dioxide geysers? I guess I could use it for cooling. But, oh. Ah, oh, that's a disappointment. Let's, yeah, that's good. Is this the, uh, the new, uh, the pick? Or, oh, no, it's, it's the pretty, uh, it's the pretty blossoms, isn't it? New colony, who this? Hmm. Perpetual dirt from carbon dioxide? Hold on. What am I? Carbon dioxide. Oh, it's... You're saying by cause, because you can use it to... Make polluted water. And then vaporize the, the polluted or clean the polluted water, you get polluted dirt. The problem with that, you need you still need sand. That's the big problem with that, is you still need an infinite sand. I think since we have a chlorine geyser, we'll probably do bomb lilies again. Or not bomb lilies, but uh gas assault vines. We'll hold on that. This, I think, is going to be our wonderful picture. Screenshot mode. Everybody say cheese. Boop. There we go. There's our thumbnail. All right. Let's get to it. Is anybody here ready to do the Chaos Crusade? I don't, I don't think anybody is ready. First time chatter, Rowanish. Welcome. Nice little cheesy mode. Uh, let me save it twice because, you know. And main menu. Boop. Rob Roy says, I think we should wait five more minutes. Grand Theorem says, drag it out longer. Look, I have to put it at the end of the stream, okay? As you haven't noticed, we actually hit a record high today in viewer count. And as soon as I announce this seed, people aren't even going to lurk. They're just going to be like, see ya, bounce. <laughs> oh. All right. So I'm being told from the great, the great queen who runs the Chaos Crew Discord and says the, uh, we're doing Metallic Swampy. A metallic swampy. We're doing survival. Spaced out. 
Metallic Swampy. Moonlit Cluster Metallic Swampy. Now, where we get to play with it a little bit is on our traits. I, I need to read you what the queen sent me. All right. <laughs> this is so good. Da, 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 da. Everyone is hoping for a metal rich start with crashed satellites. A number of people voted for volcanic activity, though you know from personal experience that volcanic activity on a small planetoid never goes well. So I'm personally hoping you don't pick it. <laughs> I, we did volcanic activity in the last one, right? We did volcanic activity. No world gen mod, please. What do you mean by that? It'll go. I'm not modding anything on the world gen. We did volcanoes on the last one, so I wasn't going to pick volcanoes. Um, we do need to make sure all of our story traits are active, which is good. Frozen friend is not very interesting. Magma channels does provide some interesting, but remember this is a cluster. This is a small, tiny little asteroid. So we want to be careful with what we pick so it doesn't eat up a lot of the actual usable stuffs. So I don't think we'll do magma channels. No, um, no boulders, none of that. We don't want to eat up too much space. Story traits are definitely on, right? Yes. Game settings, everything's defaulted. Okay, good, 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 good. Let's see what we find. Oh, radioactive crust. Now, radioactive crust would be interesting, but it doesn't necessarily mean bees. Mm. I don't. I don't think it means bees. I think it just means deposits of uranium. Hmm. Yeah, no bees with that trait, says Carmike. Geodes and slime molds. See, I like to make... I like a happy and a glad, right? A one that gives it a, some good, because geodes are real fun because there's rare mineral, rare materials everywhere. Slime molds kind of add a an element of difficulty. So I kind of like the slime molds. But I don't know if it changes up the asteroid enough. Subsurface ocean, metal pour. What I'm going to look for is metal pour and volcanic activity. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, metallic caves, crash satellites, frozen core. Ooh. And the nearby asteroid has geodes, radioactive crust. I kind of like this. Crash satellites, which everybody was requesting. That way they had some of that beautiful, beautiful radiation. And the frozen core does provide some interesting mechanics. Although, it means also means there's no magma. Unless there's a volcano on it. Which would make it interesting. It'd be less petroleum boilers, unless there's a vol uh, unless there's volcano. I th I think this I think this is it. I think this is it. Last seed. Everybody had to struggle with the heat because of all the volcanoes. This time they uh, they have to deal with the frozen core. And hope. Remember, if you, huh, you need to make sure. There's no abyssalite break. Make sure there's no abyssalite break down low. Because you don't want that cold. Wasn't the last seed rhyme? Yeah, this is, it won't make the entire planetoid cold. I was just talking about the volcanoes on there.
All right, everybody's saying the rhyme 2.0. All right, we're gonna keep looking. We're gonna keep looking. I don't want the same experience. Magma from this world's core has leaked into the mantle and crust. Magma channels and crash satellites could be interesting. Yeah, but then the second one only has medium boulders. I want something positive down there. Not just crash satellites. We're definitely doing something with two. Ooh, lush core. A forest core. That means pips. I want to give the people what they want with the, the satellites, at a minimum. But I need more than one. See, just crash subsurface ocean. But then there's crash satellites on the second one. I, I would be willing to go subsurface ocean. Look at this. What a horrible seed. Mixed boulders plus medium boulders? Oh, you'd have no materials to work with. Other than obsidian. Come on, give me something good. Give me something good. Wah, wah. Oh. Because I like the crash satellites too. It really makes the radiation and everything a little bit easier to deal, to, to grab. Oh, now it doesn't want to give me a... Come on. You can do it. You can do it! Ah, oh. Man, geode subsurface ocean. Metal writ crash satellite. There's the frozen core again. Hmm. If I get crash satellites, magma channels, and geodes, slime molds, radioactive crust in the frozen forest. Emap says you're skipping all the good seeds. I think this I think this might be it. Endgame says frozen core or it's a boar. Magma channels are not too bad. I mean as far as difficulty. They but they do change up the asteroid. All right, everybody's hating magma channels. All right, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. Crash satellites, metal rich, geodes. See, everybody just wants the good stuff. That's all, that's all people want is the good stuff. Like, yes, give me all the materials. Whee! <laughs> hmm. Now, see, everybody says they're concerned about the space, but crash satellites, remember, eat some space because it literally, when it spawns that satellite, sometimes it'll bring it through. Go for more geysers? I don't, I've never seen a, I don't think heavy activity is available on this. I mean, we haven't seen it, have we? Because it's a small enough asteroid, I don't think it's available. Yeah, see, Doff says geoactive and geodormant don't roll on spaced out maps. JD Place says 
I say roll a random number. The problem is everybody gets really, um, because there is such a wide variety of players in the chaos crew, we try to appease to make sure it's not too difficult. Whereas people will still have a lot of options if they want to make it difficult that on themselves. So appeasing, it's, you know, you're not, I'm never going to be able to make all the people happy all the time. EMAP says, look at the Discord votes. Discord's still voting. I don't see a vote in here. See, Queen, you can't get out in front of me. <laughs> Oops, never mind. <laughs> he changed his mind. Yeah, I don't see any votes. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to keep finding one. And slime molds ew. Uh I want the crash satellites because I want to see what people do. Frozen friend is boring. Come on, crash satellites. Be the one! Be the one! Bomber bum, I appreciate the follow. Sorry, I missed you a few minutes ago. Chat, it came back up again. Crash satellites, magma channels, geodes. I am a little worried about the space. EMAP, I've asked you time and time again not to bring that kind of stuff into the channel. It doesn't matter if it's true. You can still ha use better language. And remember, just because it's your opinion doesn't mean it's everybody's opinion. The satellites can be deconstructed. Yes, they take, uh, I think they take somebody with demolition. Less soul in with a nine months. I appreciate you, Les Soul. Love the video always. Thanks for the community. Thanks for all this community is to Ani and good fun. Thank you. We'll keep going. I, I want to... Boop, boop, boop. And it's because I don't know what... My... I, I want to do magma channels, but I don't... To be honest, I don't know how they appear on a small, small asteroid. And it could eat up a lot. And I don't want to do that to play bow with, you know, trying to work in and out of it. So we're going to find crash site, not frozen friend. I'll bet you crash satellites only comes with so many things. There was the lush core. Lush core may have been good. I wish I wouldn't have clicked. Because that would have given people access to pips. Ooh, Desalin's got volcanic activity. Geodes, crash satellites. I like it. It gives us something a little positive. It gives the crash satellites that people got to work around. Yeah. Story traits good. Copy. I am pasting it. And it's good. Ah, uh, wait. Please, please be loading. Please load. Please load. Uh, I got to make sure it generates. Success. There we go. All right. 
Now, I am going to take a second because I actually need the dupes because I'm going to be using this. Look, it's, it changes whistling. Who is this? Travaldo? Travaldo. Is it Travaldo or Trevaldo? I will be playing the map. We're going to call this, uh, I don't even know what to call it. Chaos! Um, it's a small, so I'm only going to use one digger. Not a flatulent Meemaw. Definitely not a flatulent Meemaw. Ugh. I want to take a quick look at the map. No. There's the flatulent Meemaw again. Digging building that's a loud sleeper? Yeah, I can work around this. That's a pretty good starting dupe. Uh, then we're going to go... Rancher Farmer. Not Grease Monkey. Not Bottomless Stomach. Quick Learning. I mean, that's not bad. We'll take that Ruby. And then the Researcher. Researcher! Uh, irritable bowel plus eight caregiver. Eh, something better than caregiver. Come on. Oh, perfect. Grease monkey. Uh, what should I name this? Chaos. Uh, chaos. Mm, I don't even know. I'm all like. Dumpster fire. <laughs> oh. Do I, do I have one named Dumpster Fire yet? Let's name it Dumpster Fire. Yeah, this works for me. And we embark. Boom. Did I spell Dumpster Fire? Please tell me I spelled Dumpster Fire correct. Dumpster. Okay, good. Oh, oh, this is ugly. Oh. There's your water. You go you we do have lots of nice oxalite. That's at least decent. But wow. There is some water up here top left. Some water way up here too. Okay. Now, some people are going to miss this, but this little one ton of water is important. Don't pass up on that one dial. Oh, look at the fish. Hello, fishy. Plug slugs. Be careful when you're digging. That way you don't get hydrogen everywhere. I'm glad I started with the early rancher. Let's go check... See what it gave us. Agola. Gold meteor showers. I mean, they hit hard. They hit hard. Oh, iron. Vol oh, whoa. iron volcano, cobalt volcano, gold volcano, copper volcano, a natural get. Oh, chat. There's no water. There's no water. We need to hope that the adjacent planetoid has water. And you got to get to it quick. <laughs> JD Play says, water? Dupes pee. It's free water. <laughs> it's a free little bit of water. What, six kilos per cycle per dupe? Crazy Tastic says, who needs water when you have iron and gold? <laughs> I love the volcanoes here, but no water? I didn't even know that was possible. 
on a starting planetoid. Mm. The Queen says Metal Swampies never has what? I just figured it's a starting planetoid. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to be ultra, ultra conservative with your water. Because who knows how long um, it's going to take you to get to the other planetoid. Of course. No, this is a regular POI, I think. Thimble Reed, that's good news. Lots of, not a lot, but there is some swamp chard out and about here. Ooh, some early fossil. I like this. I like this a lot. Yeah, I think this is going to be a fun start. I think this is a very fun start. First time chatter, Watson 272. Um, says factory starting planetoid, which secondary living planetoid. I mean, there's, there's going to be a lot of different strategies. Rowanish and Arafella with the follows. I appreciate you. Heat overlay? Yeah. Not bad. Lucky. Oh, what is it? Oh, we got what? A volcano or something right here. It's four tiles of neutronium. And what is this? Oh, this is minus 64 mafic rock. So there is an abyssalite break somewhere. Oh, this could be interesting. Down towards the bottom, there's some 30s over in here. Some slime, more fish. I like it. I like it. I'm going to have fun with this. Do let me save this. Beautiful. Well, I hope everybody's happy with the seed, but we know that's not, uh, that's not the way it, it, it works, okay? But no water. Oh, oh, this is going to be, this is going to be interesting. I am looking forward to uh, giving it a try. Um, so I don't think I was going to do a regular Let's Play. Or if I, because here's the problem. If you spend 40 episodes making a series, everybody falls off. Not everybody, but you know what I mean? You might start with 50,000 views, but then it goes right down. By the time you hit like, 20 or 30. So maybe I do a let's play for a little bit and then go to a more tutorials featuring this planetoid. I don't know. I will figure it out though. Let's go see who we're going to raid. Stick around for the raid too, by the way. You get free echoes. Lumen says it makes me sad that the views fall off so much. I know because it is um, a lot of people enjoy the longer let's plays. Hi, Valkyrie! Oh, Valkyrie's just getting on. JD Place said, I don't even look at the views for Let's Plays till episode 5, as that's where it starts to level out. I'm trying to shoot for series that are 10 episodes. After 10, I think, is when the dip really starts to happen. Valkyrie was in the mall earlier. What'd you get me? What did you get me? I'm trying to think of a way to make it let's play E, um, but having the episodes concentrate on just one thing. Christmas bags. I'll take a Christmas bag. <laughs> oh, we're about to monster raid somebody. And none of our usual suspects. Oh, I know where we're going. I know where we're going. 
We're gonna make. We're gonna give Chloe a very good raid. Um, but we gotta. We, there's gotta be a raid message. Okay. Here's the raid message. You can add to it, of course, but it's got to have the twirl in it. Echo is the best twirler. Twirl, twirly, twirly twirler. Hold on. I'm trying to spells. Twirly twirler. Yes. For all of you copy pasters, here you go. I mean, it's a magnificent twirl. Okay, there's the raid message for the nice copy paste. I had a great time, guys. I hope all of you did too. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Magnificent day. I love starting new colonies. We got to basically start two new colonies because we got to see the Chaos Crew seed. That's going to be fun. Planetoids with no water? Excuse me? Uh, excuse me? <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. Hey, thank you everybody for coming out. I know a lot of you are here for that Chaos Crew seed. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day and a little bit of your Sunday um, with us and the community. I hope you have a great time with the Chaos Crew. Thank the mods and each other for stopping by. Um, mods are keeping the place nice and... Uh, Thank each other because a uh, stream without good chat is not a very good stream at all. All right. I'm going to run these credits and then we will kick the raid. Much love to all of you. I hope you have a fantabulous week and I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.